All right, continuing on with our big idea of understanding operations, adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing, helps us to solve problems in the real world. Today, we're going to work on demonstrating an understanding of how to use annexing and adding zero back on to multiply with multiples of 10, so 10, 30, 300, so on. How we're going to multiply to get those answers or even multiply by those numbers to get a new answer. We have touched on this a little bit in class, um, but just barely, so it might seem somewhat familiar. We are Unit 3, Lesson 3 in the Connect section. So on your calculator, find the answer for each of these and record it on your page. Go ahead and press pause and do that now. All right, when we take a look at them, 20 times 9 is 180. 20 times 90 is 1,800, and 20 times 900 is 1,000, sorry, 118,000, sorry. Use those spaces, helps that a little bit. So remember, it should be 18 with three zeros, 18,000. What you're noticing is that there's one zero here, there's one zero here. There's two zeros in the question here, there's two zeros in the answer. There's three zeros in the question here. There's three zeros in the answer. Well, that's really going to help us when we try to annex, take away zero, and then add it back on. All right, so what we did notice is that, for example, when you multiply by, 100, by 10, you add on one zero. When you multiply by 100, you add on two zeros. When you multiply by a thousand, you're going to add on three zeros. Okay, so we can try this. 25 times one times 10. Well, 25 times one is 25. We know we're going to have to add on one zero is 250. Check it with your calculator. Yeah, that works. 25 tens is 250. 25 times 100. 25 hundreds. How much is 25 hundreds going to be? It's going to be 2,500. 1 times 25 is 25. We put the 25. We add those two zeros that we took off back on. That's annexing, taking them off, and adding them back on. 25 times 1,000. Well, 1,000 25s. How much is that going to be? 25 thousands. So we have 25 times 1, which is 25. We add those three zeros back on. 25 thousand. We can use basic facts and the patterns that we see in place value to help us to multiply by 100, by 10, by 1000. All we have to think of is this. 3 times 60. Well, what is 3 times 6? 3 times 6 is 18. We have now 18, 3 times 6 tens. So that means 18 tens. Well, 18 tens is 180. Or 3 times 6 is 18. I had one zero in my question that I took off. I annexed. And I'm going to add it back on. 180. 3 times 600. No different. 3 times 6 is 18. I took off those two zeros. I add those two zeros back on. Or 3 times 6 hundreds is going to be 18 hundreds. 3 times 6,000, same thing. 3 times 6 is 18. I took off how many zeros? I took off 3 zeros, so I add those 3 zeros back on. Or I have 3 times 6,000, which would be 18 thousands. So 18 thousand is what you would see. How would you use what you know about multiplying by multiples of 10, 100, 1,000 to multiply two multiples of 10, two multiples of 100, two multiples of 1,000? Really, it doesn't change it very much. You're just taking the zeros off both sides. So, for example, 20 times 30. Well, 2 times 3 is 6. How many zeros did I took off? I took off two zeros. How many are going to add back on? Two zeros, 600. 500 times 40. 500s times 40, 200s. Or you can just think of it as 5 times 4, which is 20. How many zeros did I take off? 
I took off three, so I need to add three back on. Don't let this zero fool you. It was there before. Um, three zeros back on, so 20,000. All right, you're going to practice now without a calculator. Practice annexing zero. Take off that zero, add the number, multiply the numbers, and add the zero back on. Go ahead and press pause and try A, B, and C, uh, A, B, C, and D now. All right, let's take a look. For A, well, I know 7 times 10. 7 times 1 is 7. 1 zero off, 1 zero back on. So it equals 70. 7 times 100, well, 7 times 1 is still 7. How many zeros off? 2. I add 2 back on, 700. 7 times 1,000. 7 times 1 is 7. How many zeros did I take off? 3. How many do I put back on? 3. 7,000. Let's take a look at B. 3 times 10. Well, 3 times 1 is 3. How many zeros did I take off? 1. So it equals 30. C. 3 times 100. 3 times 1 is 3. How many zeros did I take off? 2. So I add 2 back on. 3 times 1,000. 3 times 1 is 3. How many zeros did I take off? 3. So I add 3 back on. 3,000. How does this change when I have digits or two numbers that have zeros in it? So 2 times 0 plus 10 times 0. Well, 2 times 1 is still 2. How many zeros did I take off? I took off two of them, so I add 2 back on. 200. 20 times 100. 2 times 1 is 2. How many zeros did I take off? 3. I put 3 back on. 2,000. 20 times 1,000. Whoops. One too many zeros. Sorry. 2 times 1 is 2. How many zeros did I take off? 4. How many do I add back on? 4. 20,000. Last one. 50 times 10. Well, again, 5 times 1 is 5. How many zeros did I take off? 2. I add 2 back on. 500. 50 times 100. 5 times 1 is 5. I took 3 zeros off. I put 3 zeros back on. Uh, 5,050 groups of 100. Last one, 50 times 1,000. 5 times 1 again is 5. How many zeros did I take off? 4. So I have to put 4 back on. 50 groups of 1,000 is 50,000. All right, and that is annexing and adding zeros when multiplying with multiples of 10. Multiples of 10 are 10, 100, 1,000. We multiply something with 10 to get those numbers. So you are working on, and look carefully here, page 82 and 83, numbers 1, just C and D, 2, just A and B, 3, 5 A and B, 6, and 7 A, B, C, D. Remember to show your work, much like I showed my work. And remember, you may not use a calculator. You may not use a multiplication table. This needs to be done without the use of those because it's primarily focusing on your basic facts. When you've finished your concept practice, you will be moving on to the exit slip. All right, exit slip. In case you've lost your paper copy, here is a copy of the exit slip. It is working on uh, multiplying with patterns, multiplying and dividing with doubling and halving, as well as annexing zero. Uh, so make sure you show your work. And notice it also says to add an explanation. Show your work, add an explanation. Why is doubling and halving not a great strategy for division? Explain. Use annexing and adding zero to find these answers. Show your work. Add an explanation. Remember, explanations need words. So uh, make sure that you are explaining using words. Remember, your exit slip must be handed in and your name must be on it as well as what the concept is. We are using patterns. We are doubling and halving and we are annexing zero. Away you go.